everybody. So today I have something very cool here. This is a 3D canvas by Art by Maestro. And if you can see, it is raised. There's like a bevel. It's kind of hard to see like this, but perhaps when I put down my base coat, you'll be able to see it better. Oh, there's a decent angle. But you can see it is raised in the center. And it has a nice uh, back on it that I will show you when I have my phone and my holder. Okay. You can hear this is solid. There's a piece of something back here. It's lightweight, but it's firm. So I imagine that is what helps keep the shape here. This is a big canvas. This is a 24 by 24 and it barely fits in the camera angle. But uh, I'm going to uh, put down a base coat and then we will uh, get started. Now I'm gonna actually paint uh, the base coat on with straight paint because I actually want the background, I should say I'm painting a background, not a base coat. I want the background to be dry when I do this because it is slanted like this. I don't know that a straight pour would be something I would want to do. I want something that's a little thicker that's not going to uh, break apart. You know, if you stretch stretch it too thin, you lose the cells and you lose your shapes. I want to accentuate that. So I'm thinking something along the lines of a ring pour uh, with some negative space and allowing gravity to just pull it and pull the shape so that it accentuates that 3D effect. So. I had to think about this painting, what I was going to do. You know, straight boards are kind of my bag. And uh, and I figured straight boards probably not the best thing for this. What can I do to really bring out the 3D nature of this canvas? So we'll see how it goes. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards? If you have, just fast forward about a minute. If you have not, what we have are, we have 52 cards. There are 42 technique cards. Each technique card has an associated video here on YouTube with all of the information that you need. The colors, consistency, the brand of the paints, the recipes, all of it. Here's a little box that has a tip for that particular type of painting, a color palette, and then these two boxes can be used as the basis of a color palette. You can do a two color palette or add to those colors. And there are eight bonus color palette cards. Each one has five color palettes. Use all of the colors, just use some of the colors. It's a uh, Pretty handy for just about any kind of art form where you use colors. You mix and match the techniques and the color palettes and there are hundreds of thousands of combinations in this deck. It's available at ginadeluca.net. Okay, I think you can really see the uh, 3D nature of this canvas now that I've put down some paint. This is the Mars Black uh, and the Liquitex Basics. The other colors, Artist Loft Silver, Artist Loft Old Gold, uh, some Art Mines in the uh, color Mysterious. I have some Artist Loft Copper, which when I added a bit of Floetrol to it, I always put some Floetrol, just enough to cover the bottom of the cup, then put my paint in and mix it in. Because sometimes, particularly with metallics, it will get lumpy. When that happens, just keep adding your pouring medium a little at a time. 
And if you cannot get all of the lumps out, what you can do is put a nylon stocking over your cup and strain it. And that is what I did here. That should now be lump free. I've mixed these paints one part paint to one and a half parts Floetrol and one half of Golden Pouring Medium because that does help it set up a little quicker and Floetrol alone. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way a bit so I can put some paint in my cup. Okay, this is a 20 by 24 canvas. Um, I'm not trying to cover the whole thing. If I were, I would be using at least 20 ounces um, more because this is actually a very deep edge canvas. I think this is actually two, two inches. Looks like it's about two inches. The consistency that we're working with is pretty thick, thicker than usual, because I'm not going for cells. I would say that's a, about a three and a half on my consistency scale. I'm not going for cells, but also because this is slanted on the edges, um, I want it to have a, a thicker consistency because I want it to pull. I want it to have a 3D look, but I don't want it to pull so much that it gets thin. So that's what we're going for here. A tiny bit of black. Copper. I'm going to do two layers of each. So I'm just going to use half of what's in the cup. And then the mysterious, which should really pop next to that copper. A bit more black. Light on the black because it can take over. Just a tiny, tiny bit of that black. Tiniest bit. I just want a little bit of separation between that gold and silver. Again, just the tiniest bit. And I'm going to do the blue. I want to make sure that uh, I'm not tilting any of this blue off. I love this color. Tiniest bit. Hardly anything. The rest of my copper. Tiny, tiny bit. touch just a touch all right I have this black here I'm gonna pour this in the center just to give my rings something to slide around on okay here we go
like stuck to pop a nut or something. Oh, something funky happened in there. This is what I wanted. I wanted it to just slightly tip off the edge to pull and let gravity do the work. appears to be doing its thing. And what I suspect is going to happen is it's just going to keep pulling and stretching this out. I don't think the center should be moving too much. All right, I'm gonna let this sit and do its thing, and uh, I will bring you in for the close up. Back in a few. Okay, here it is. You can see the deep edges there. So, th how it came out on the edges, I like this side a lot better than I like the other side. That's kind of what I was going for. I wanted those lines to just stretch and really just draw out that 3D. They just kind of blend it together there a bit more, a little less definition. And I have my little center there, which looks nice and 3D. But yeah, that's going to look pretty cool hanging on a wall with all that dimension. And of course, you know, once it's varnished, it will have a more uniform gloss to it and the metallics will pop as they do but uh, i hope you learned something i will put the link 
to where you can find these funky canvases. Art by Maestro. He's on the Instagram, but I will uh, put that in the description box. There you have it. Also in the description box, you will find links to my PayPal tip jar, my Venmo tip jar, if you feel so inclined, if you learned something, if you were entertained, you just have money to burn, because don't we all right now? But uh, always appreciate it, but certainly not expected. Also, in the description box will be the link to my Amazon store. If you enter through that link, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I will receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. Oh, don't forget to like and share and subscribe if you have not done that already. And make sure you click that bell so you can get notified when I post new videos. And also in the description box, you will find the link to go make some art. Join us there, post your masterpieces. Ask your questions, get some inspiration. Uh, I think that's it, is that it? All right, that looks very spacey. That would have been great if it had just turned out exactly the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I guess I'll have to settle for 85% of how I wanted it to be. Cause it's fluid art and we have to be fluid. All right. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.